morning. It is 20 to 9. I've been up about 40 minutes, got up about 8 o'clock, so I had a nice lie in. You can hear that pinging in the background. That's the um, parent group. All the kids are dropping like flies in Finn's class. I think there are six off now. Six that have tested positive for COVID. And it's only a very small class as it is. Luckily they're all okay. Um, but yeah, there's quite a lot off in his class. So yeah, I'm just having a really slow, easy morning. I'm going to make a coffee in a minute. Oh dear, I'm not, I'm not even going to look. I'm not even going to look. I don't want to see who else has got it. I'm going to make a coffee in a minute and work on my snoopy blanket. I'm determined I'm going to get it finished. I'm going to do some sewing today. I'm going to cut out um, all my bags. I'm not going to stitch them together today. I'm just going to get them all cut out and then I can start stitching next week. So, yeah. Has anybody made a rag quilt? I've just been watching a YouTube tutorial on rag quilts. They look so nice. Um, obviously, I've never made anything like that at all. But the, the tutorials always make it look easier, I know that. <laughs> but it looks a lot easier if you've never made a quilt to try something like that first. And I think you need to use like a fleecy fabric. And you basically cut the squares out with the backing, the backing fabric, the main fabric and some fusible fleece in between. Or some fleece in between. Um, and then you just sew across on the square and then you do that for all your squares and then you sew all the squares together there's no turning it wrong side out or anything like that because you leave the frayed edges on show so you sew all your squares together into strips and then sew all your strips together and then just sew around the edge and the point is that that bit that's on show is supposed to be on show they look really really nice i think that might have to be a new thing i'll try um yeah, they look really, really nice. I don't know if you'd be able to do it, if any of you have made one, with fabric that's not fleece. Well, I suppose you could, you know, because the whole point is that you get that frayed effect on it. I bet you could. Oh, it sounds interesting, doesn't it? I might Google some more on rag style quilts. If you look on Pinterest, there's some really, really nice ones. Um, yeah. And I'll tell you what else I discovered last night. Um, I've got a pattern for some pyjama pants. I've been talking about it once before. I'm not making them because I don't have enough material to make a full pair of pyjama pants. Sorry, my eyes itching. Um, but I didn't realise Tilly and the Buttons did tutorial videos as well. So I watched a tutorial video on pyjama pants on YouTube last night. That was really good. I'm determined to venture into making more than bags. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, I'm waffling. I'm going to go get a coffee. I'll speak to morning, you. Morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, school on time. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Start as we mean to go on. We do have fins, though. Yeah. Where are we going? We're just dipping to Tesco's. I like to call it Tesco's. You know, oh, no? darn. Gosh darn it. We are off to Tesco's. Uh, to a bit of fodder. <laughs> off to Tesco's, do a bit of food shop, and then it'd be just a chill out on Saturday today. But before we vlog, while we're in the car, give you lovely people some normality. <laughs> Up of the vlogs. Because on the weekend we don't really need much vlog, but today As we are. As we're going to Tesco's, I really shouldn't have up to boys and get a last ball of white because I'm going to run out. Huh. Is that what you want to do? Not really, no, because it feels awful on the Saturday. I hate it. Well, there you go. So we might get half, might not. Um, Anybody else just like, I know I need it, I just can't be bothered trekking. 
Uh, yeah, so it's Tesco's and then it's chill out for the rest of the day. What's your plans for the rest of the day, Finn? Just chilling out on the Xbox? Yeah, yeah Xbox day. Xbox day. Playing all good? Hmm? Playing anything good? No. Don't know. Probably be free for a fortnight. And you're cutting out loads of bags today. I'm going to get all my material cut out. Um, Next week I can just stitch. I'm gonna get because I've, I've put the bottom bits on the bags. I'm gonna get all that bit done, all the handles done, get everything cut out, and then next week it's just a case of stitch, stitch, stitch. Cool. So I hope you've all had a great day. Thank you very much for the lovely comments. You can watch this in Australia. Good morning. Hi. And for the lovely viewers who are watching this in the evening, I hope you had a great day. Take it easy, everybody. Bye. So, it is 20 past three. I don't quite know where the afternoon's gone, to be honest. I've been sewing. Not been sewing bags like I was supposed to be doing. I got sidetracked with something else. <laughs> you all know I'm going to get sidetracked with something else. So, I had um, some Harry Potter fabric that I got for my birthday that I have been itching to use. So, are you ready for this? So I have made a Harry Potter bear. Isn't it cute? So now... Now we've got two. So Elsie does have a new ribbon. I've not put it on her yet. And this one I made out of some black fabric. So this was my first bear. And this was my second bear. So that is what I've been doing this afternoon. Um, yeah, it's 20 past three. I've kind of lost the afternoon, so. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. So I am now going to get the kitchen looking like a normal kitchen again. I've just made such a mess. It's ridiculous. They take a lot of stuff in. I bought some stuff in this morning because I'd run out. Oh, I've got some more white wool as well. I'm going to finish that snooker blanket this weekend. But I've got quite a big bag of stuff in. How much is in here? 100 grams. And the bear's taken all of that stuff in. And to be perfectly honest, I could have probably got a little bit more in if I'd have had more stuff in. So, anyway, I've done another bear. I'm really pleased with it. So now I've got Elsie and... Hmm, it's Harry Potter fabric, but we don't want to be obvious and call it Harry. Um, I don't know. don't know what to call it. The other bear needs a name. Anyway, <laughs> I'll be back it in a bit. It is five o'clock. Um, Dan is just cooking tea. Hi. <laughs> what was that? Hi. 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 It's steak night. We're having steak, new potatoes and vegetables tonight. Um, oh, I've nearly finished the Snoopy blanket. I'm so hoping I'm going to get it finished by the end of this vlog. I'm crocheting my little, my little self away. That's not even the right word, is it? I really hope I'm going to get it finished by the end of the vlog today. That would be so cool. I've got something in my eye. So yeah, so we see, so we see if I can do it. There's not much to go. I think I might have had enough yarn as well with that ball I had. Daddy's face is a picture. You could see that right now. He did not want to walk over to boys earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna see if I can get it finished before the end of the vlog. What was the blanket? The Snoopy blanket. You nearly finished. Nearly finished it. Ooh. I have got my rose now. <gasps> Oh, well, the dog's barking. My rows now only have 31 blocks on. We shall Working see. Hard. I'm determined to have this finished by the end of the vlog. I'll show you what I've got left. Look. From here to here, it's like 21 blocks now. It's not much at all. It's 20 past six. I think I can do it. I don't know why I've set myself this challenge. This is absolutely ridiculous.
But if this vlog doesn't go up till like one o'clock in the morning, you know why. But I've set myself this crazy challenge of finishing it by the end of today's vlog. So I'm all set up. I've got bakery bears. Oh no, I've lost my hook. No, I've got my hook. And let's see if I can do it. It's quarter to seven. I've still got quite a way to go. Well, I'm on two. Can you see that? 20 blocks per row now. So I've got myself changed. I've got comfy clothes on. And I'm going for it. I'll see where I am in half an hour. <laughs> it's quarter past seven. I've got 15 blocks left to go. It's looking like this is possible. You see, normally at this time of day, I'm editing the vlog and uploading it to YouTube. But we're sticking with this now. We're going to see this through to the bitter end. It's been nearly a year in the making. This is getting finished tonight. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. It's quarter to eight and I've absolutely done it. I'm going to turn the camera around. You ready? Today's Danny. Hi, Danny. Look at Underneath it. How tall are you, Danny? 5'10? No. Six foot. <laughs> she, 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 Whoops. <laughs> so Danny is six foot and the blanket is at his feet. That is how big that blanket is. I am beyond, beyond pleased. I absolutely love it. You're not gonna see the back because I've not woven in the ends obviously yet. But Beyond pleased. Wow. Just wow. So, I am ending the vlog there. I hope you've all had a lovely, lovely day. I've had a fantastic night. That has just been brilliant. I think I started that blanket last May, I think. So it's been nearly a year and it's been a challenge at times because it was seriously the biggest project that I've ever done. I'm so pleased I stuck with it and I am beyond pleased so on that wonderful note I've all, I hope you've all had a lovely lovely day and I'll see you tomorrow for day 27 bye everybody